food itself in its very physical sense, holding food in your hand or putting it on a table, is automatically this way to potentially connect with not only yourself, but with other folks around you. The Duke Campus Farm broke ground almost 10 years ago in November of 2010. We built the farm to be a living learning laboratory for both doing intellectually rigorous work here with academic courses, but also for working alongside classmates, working alongside faculty, working alongside staff and neighbors to help make this space grow. Especially when we're working with our primary audience, which is Duke students, we want them to think about their impact in their communities more broadly. How the kinds of work they do, be that in medicine, in law, in policy, actually intersect the food system at so many access points. Although we're the Duke Campus Farm and we primarily work with Duke students, our gates are literally open to everyone. So we host open community work days every Thursday and Sunday afternoon. And we get families, we get neighbors, we get public school friends. So it's been really, really important to establish that openness to make sure that this space is one that is really as inclusive and intentional as we can make it. And what I've noticed over the years is that this holiday season is really special because a lot of folks are choosing to spend time with friends or with family with whom they might have cultivated long traditions of shared food memories, shared place memories. And a lot of folks, too, are totally taking advantage of the newness that comes with being at, studying at, working at a place like Duke. Getting to hear that directly from students as we're working together at the farm, hearing them talk about different frames of reference for what holiday means and what holiday looks like at different tables has been a really, really beautiful thing to witness.